Chris Calabrice with Road to a Cure. I'm a six and a half year survivor of pancreatic cancer and a six year continuous chemotherapy patient. I'm riding my motorcycle 42,000 miles this year to raise awareness for the disease. Uh, it's a Victory Vision. It's been generously donated by Victory to, uh, to help our cause. Uh, they provide the bike and all the service, uh, as well as a lot of other great sponsors like ATRA and uh, 858 Graphics Angel Print. These, these folks, we couldn't do it without them. Uh, my riding experience in the last year has been 13,000 miles so far of my 45,000 miles since February 23rd we've been on the road. Uh, really, the reason that we're out here doing this is pancreatic cancer is the number four killer among cancers, and yet it receives less than 2% of the federal funding. So Road to a Cure is really a, uh, it's a motorcycle based PR campaign to raise the visibility for pancreatic cancer. Federal funding of 2% is just not, doesn't work. It, it's got to be changed. As far as riding, this is a beautiful country. In the last, oh, I don't know, three and a half months and 13,000 miles, we've covered most of the south. Uh, I would say that favorite riding roads, West Virginia is really high on the list, and Colorado, the Arizona desert, uh, Four Corners region. But I would say really uh, Durango, the passes over Durango and out in Monument Valley are just stunning. So if you have a chance, you've got to go ride Zion National Park. It's only about a 45-minute run uh, once you get there, but that 45 minutes is well worth it. So beautiful loop is to ride up, and uh, I left Los Angeles at uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning, rode through Zion National Park, down out to Lake Powell, through Four Corners, Arizona, and uh, a 720 mile day, that was a great day. Uh, rode, coming out here to uh, Ohio Bike Week, did a, uh, an iron butt. We, uh, I left just about 50 miles east of Durango and rode across the Rockies and 1,000 miles and 24 hours later stopped in St. Louis. Uh, probably my best experience on a motorcycle is just about every day. Uh, the different places you ride, the scents, the being immersed in, in this world. When you ride, you're really in vault. You're not, the windows aren't rolled up. When you go through a strawberry patch, you smell the strawberries. When you go by a trash truck or cattle car, you know, you smell something else. So, worst riding experience for me is losing a friend in high school from a tip over and almost a dead stop, not wearing a helmet, cracked his head open on the cement. So, as far as safety goes, safety is not a bad word for, for riders. Uh, yeah, road rush might tell an interesting story, but I'd rather be that guy who picks the bike up and the MotoGP and just dumped it at 160 and tries to get it started running again. I ride a lot of miles. I'm riding 42,500 miles, one mile for each person diagnosed with pancreatic cancer this year. And you bet I'm wearing back armor, full face helmet, knee helmet, knee armor, hip, elbows, shoulders. If you're going to push the odds for that long, you got to do something to protect yourself.